Hello viewers, welcome back to my YouTube channel PMCE. In this video, we will be seeing the learning outcome in class 5 with respect to concept numbers. Again, like in class 4, we will be dealing with more large numbers in class 5. Let us have a quick walkthrough of the 7 mathematical concepts from class 1 to class 5, which I will be dealing with in my channel are Numbers, Mathematical Operations on Numbers, Shapes and Patterns, Time, Money, Measurements and Data Handling. In this video, we will be dealing with the concept numbers. Each of these concepts shown over here are explained in separate videos and links for the same will be given in the description box. Please check them out to go directly into those videos and watch the content. In the evolution ladder of number concepts, in class 1, we saw all about two-digit numbers and ordinal numbers. In class 2, we saw three-digit numbers and odd and even numbers. In class 3, we dealt with four-digit numbers. In class 4, we saw all details with respect to five and six-digit numbers and also learned to write Roman numerals from 1 to 39. Now in class 5, we will be dealing with 7 and 8 digit numbers and also learn to write Roman numerals from 1 to 100. So that is why they are called as large numbers I guess because we are going to deal with 7 and 8 digit numbers. Let us take a detailed look at the learning outcome in class 5 with respect to the concept numbers. First, under the topic place value concepts, we will be dealing with 1's tens, hundreds, thousands place, ten thousands place, lakhs, ten lakhs and crores. Here in class 5 we will be dealing with new place values ten lakhs and crores because we are going to see all about seven and eight digit numbers. Next under the topic seven and eight digit numbers we will be seeing a few number activities. The next topic will be comparing numbers with different and same number of digits. The last topics we will be seeing are rounding numbers and also Roman numbers from 1 to 100. Now let us have a detailed look at what all we will be learning under each of these concepts. To begin with, under place value concepts we will learn to build 7 and 8 digit numbers with number names. Then, this is something new we will be doing in class 5. We will learn to write smallest and greatest 7 and 8 digit numbers on a place value chart. Next, we will be doing the writing of the 7 and 8 digit numbers in expanded form and standard form. And another new concept that we will be learning in class 5 is about the international place value system. Details about each of these topics with interesting questions under the place value concepts for class 5 is covered in separate video and links for the same will be provided in the description box. Please check out for the same. Under the topic 7 and 8 digit numbers, we will be writing the before and after numbers. Next, under the topic comparing numbers with different and same number of digits, we will learn to identify the greatest number smallest number and also compare the numbers using the symbols greater than, less than and equal to. Once comparison of numbers is done, writing in ascending order and descending order becomes easy. Next again here as in class 4 also, we will be doing building of the greatest and smallest numbers with the given digits both with repeating the digits and without repeating the digits. Dear viewers, I have tried my best to make these videos interesting for you and useful for you by including at least one concept based question at the end of all learning outcome videos and for the videos where I am dealing with each of these concepts separately I have tried to include as many interesting questions as possible to provoke the thinking process in the children and links to all the related videos are provided below in the description box Viewers, if you have not subscribed to my channel so far, 
please do click the subscribe button which is given over here or the one at the bottom of the screen. Do not forget to tap on the bell button to receive regular notifications of the new videos and concepts that I update. If you like the content, give a thumbs up and share this video with others for whom it might be useful. And do not forget to leave your positive and negative comments for me to improve on the content of the video. Before closing the session, one quick concept-based question. How many millions are there in a crow? Please leave your answers in the comment section. Thank you for watching my video. See you in the next session. Thank you.